Today, we're peeling back the layers of a topic that hits close to home, workaholism and its toxic twin, burnout. If you've ever found yourself sacrificing sleep, health, or relationships on the altar of work, this video can make the difference between dying to do what you're so passionate about versus just dying. And that's not acceptable. With that lovely thought in your head, let's get into the workaholic mindset and expose why it's a one-way ticket to burnout city. Let's start by defining what a workaholic is. Simply put, a workaholic is someone who compulsively works excessively and struggles to detach from their job. This relentless drive can stem from a need to achieve, a fear of failure, or an inability to enjoy downtime. The real kicker, the downside, everything else in life from personal relationships and physical health to mental well-being often gets shoved to the back burner, creating a recipe for burnout. So why are us workaholics prime candidates for burnout? It's simple. We often push ourselves beyond our limits. The constant pressure to perform and achieve can lead to chronic stress, fatigue, and overwhelm. Without proper balance and self-care, persistent stress paves the way for burnout. By the end of this video, you're gonna know the five easiest ways to avoid getting burnt out at work, at school, and in life. If you feel like you're on the verge of burning out or you just wanna be proactive to avoid burnout in the future, this is going to be the best YouTube video you've ever watched. The five tips I'm going to share with you are ones that have served me well as an entrepreneur who's owned and operated seven businesses, as a martial artist who won five national championships, and as an adult student earning two master's degrees, and now as a content creator with three active YouTube channels. So how do we keep up while still maintaining productivity and a healthy work-life balance? Let me tell you. Tip number one, prioritize self-care. Exercise, eat well, and get the right amount of sleep. This means scheduling specific periods of time that are beneficial and crucial for your health. If hitting the gym three days a week is your goal, do it. If walking for 45 minutes a day is your thing, keep doing it. But you have to schedule the time and then do what you're scheduled to do. If eating well means learning what foods are best for you and your activities, take the time to learn how to shop for and prepare your own meals ahead of time. Consistent sleep schedules are crucial too. Be consistent when you go to bed and when you wake up. The problem with sleep is that many people believe the hype that if you're not getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night, you can't function properly. Listen, the right amount of sleep you need varies depending on your age, your physical and mental activity, and your life demands. Find your sweet spot in the amount of sleep you need and stick to it. But just prioritizing self-care isn't enough to avoid burnout. Next, we'll explore how to create a fortress around your personal time by setting clear boundaries between work and life. Tip number two, set work-life boundaries. When you establish clear life work boundaries, you're ensuring time for relaxation and personal activities. For example, Set working hours and stick to them by setting, say, a no work after 7 p.m. rule. Limit work-related communication with clients outside of your set work hours, or they will expect you to always be there to deal with their issues and emergencies. It's tempting to please people at all hours, but resist the temptation and don't do it. Now, here is a serious issue that you really need to listen to, not just here. If you have clients that contact you after your set time and you answer their texts, calls, emails, DMs, whatever, they're going to expect you to do that every single time. And believe me, this is extremely important. Unless they're paying you some ridiculously high amount of money, don't do it. For instance, when I owned a printing company, I had a client who would call me well after closing time. Me, being a people pleaser and workaholic, would head back into work to print the job that easily could have waited until 5 a.m. when we started our workday. This workaholic habit took a toll on my ability to separate work and life, causing a great deal of preventable stress and eventual burnout. Establishing boundaries is essential, but they're only effective if you can manage the stress that seeps through. Up next, we'll dive into a powerful stress management strategy that can be your secret weapon against burnout. Tip number three, stress management. By practicing stress management techniques, such as taking some personal time for exercise, short vacations, getting into martial arts, or starting your day with a visualization morning routine, you can greatly reduce the risk of a serious case of burnout. Be mindful of your stress levels and learn how to recognize the difference between good stress and bad stress. It's important to understand the difference between positive stress that motivates you and negative stress that drains you. Once you're aware of the bad stress, you can take action to alleviate it as soon as possible 
in a reasonable way that works best for you. I put a link in the description to one of my videos that deals more with this. Now, I have to warn you that there is a big problem with how some people deal with stress management, and that is to find a quick fix to make it go away. That's a band-aid that won't work in the long run. A quick fix might be in the form of binge eating, drinking, self-medicating, or popping a gummy, so I've heard. All that does is cause more problems because the work still won't be done when you come back to your senses, and the stress will come back hard and fast. While managing stress is crucial, sometimes the best way to reduce it is to share the load. In the next tip, we'll tackle one of the toughest challenges for many, learning to delegate effectively. Tip number four, practice efficient delegation. Believe me, I know that just the thought of making one of the toughest choices for an entrepreneur to make is delegating and learning to let go of certain tasks. But it's your baby that you created, you built it, you nurtured it, and you are responsible for every little detail. And, 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 stop. I know, I've been there. I'm there right now. It's hard to trust someone else to do what you think only you can do. But when you find the right person or AI to delegate these tasks to, it can make a world of difference in avoiding burnout. If you're running a business, delegate tasks to someone who's trained and capable, not just a warm body. Maybe it's time to hire someone to take on those extra projects to greatly lighten the load. If you're on your own and can't afford to hire someone, utilize AI to help with mundane tasks and research. It works, and it's not cheating or being lazy. Using the right tool for the right job is smart. The biggest fear about letting someone else do your work is that it won't be perfect. And that's a real problem for a perfectionist. When someone else is providing you with their time and effort, and it's pretty good, but not perfect, get over it. Sometimes good enough is great. And to stay great, you have to keep evolving. Our final tip focuses on continuous growth, the ultimate long-term strategy for burnout prevention and career satisfaction. Tip number five, learn and grow. Dedicate specific time every week to learn a new technique or skill that advances your abilities and capabilities in your life and work. Set balance goals that include both work and personal achievements. For instance, take an hour or two every week to catch up on that downloaded webinar you've been wanting and meaning to watch for the last month or so. Start that hobby you always wanted to do. Learn to play an instrument or even take up martial arts like I did, which was a life-altering decision that changed my entire life trajectory. However, there is an issue I have with trying to learn too much too fast, and that's trying to follow too many different voices at once. It seems like a great way to gather as much information as possible, but it most likely will overwhelm you with way too much information that's just going to cause stress and indecision. And of course, that will lead to what? Yeah, burnout. Here's something you need to ingrain into your head. Maintaining a strong work ethic doesn't mean sacrificing everything else to get the job done, unless it's a real life or death situation. By recognizing the signs of burnout and implementing these five tips, you can reduce the risk of burnout and still do what you want or have to do. Remember, avoiding burnout is about self-awareness and taking action before it's too late. Speaking of action, watch this video next that will show you how to establish a morning visualization routine that is the perfect way to start your day to avoid burnout. I've been using it for years and it works. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.